Hey guys, today I'm here for another travel memory. I didn't plan for this trip. The Ross train just changed my schedule to operate this beautiful destination. By the way, for those who are new to this channel, my name is Pia Pai and I travel for a living. Once in a while, I get surprises on my schedule like traveling to a place I've never been. I guess life has been so good to me despite the current situation. So we arrived in Luxembourg around 8 in the morning and I decided to take a nap for a few hours before going for some sightseeing. Besides, it will be very tiring for me if I go right away. It's my first time to be in this place, and I always make sure I take advantage of every opportunity I get. It trained in the morning by the way. That is why the weather is quite gloomy today. Nevertheless, I will never stop going out to explore this wonderful place. The public transportation here is free, so that's a piece of great news for those who wish to travel here. The area is also on lockdown, so you won't see many people roaming around. I wasn't sure what to expect from this city as I never researched it until I reached here. The good thing is our hotel is just within the area of the place I wanted to see. It took me some time to finally get to the old town as I was busy roaming around the city without knowing where I am exactly. But I managed to take a few detours. That included having to walk long distances to reach this UNESCO World Heritage Old Town Place.
It was three in the afternoon that it started to drizzle again. That is why the pathways were a bit wet. But the weather didn't bother me. I made sure I explored the whole place before I even leave the area. Anyway, I don't plan to go anywhere else anymore. This place is more than enough for my eyes to appreciate. The site itself was almost empty, so I get to make as much memories as I can. This is the beauty of traveling alone. You get to choose your time and decide when you would want to leave. No one decides for you. If I wish to stay and see the sunset, no one will tell me that the time is up and that I need to go somewhere else. My shoes were soaking wet, yet I never even noticed it as I was engrossed with my view. Even when it started to get dark already, I never stopped taking more videos. And I must admit, I was already a little bit lost here. But it doesn't matter for me because I know I'll still be able to go home at some point. I started walking when the sun was already gone and tried to look for my way back to our hotel. And of course, I still see lots of pine trees as I go along since it was almost Christmas when I came here. And thank you so much for staying with me on this vlog and I hope you enjoy this video till my next journey again. Bye for now.